dear students greetings to all of you as you are getting ready for the online classes i'm pretty sure you must be missing the life at the campus you must be missing the beautiful college building the big college ground the college cafeteria above all you must be missing your friends and your teachers Christo Jayanti College strives to provide quality education to all aspiring youth. The management strives to provide the best infrastructure and resources for students to have a wonderful time of study. Due to the present pandemic situation, respecting the government regulation and medical advices, we are forced to have the classes online. Nonetheless, the management continues to provide the very best infrastructure to make sure that you ever have a happy learning experience online in this video i would be explaining to you the features of christo jayanti learning management solution let me start by talking to you about flipped classroom Flip Classroom is a learning methodology. It is a student-centric model which facilitates online learning. Flip Classroom helps students to take charge of their learning process. Through Flip Classroom, students watch online lectures, they access e-resources or contents, they collaborate with teachers and their peer members virtually from home. which makes the learning process very enjoyable for them flip classroom needs the help of a learning management solution in short it is called as lms lms is a software application which is used by educational institution it provides a platform to deliver the contents that are needed by the students through the internet It helps students to have a structured learning process. Through the LMS, teachers can create and integrate course materials depending on text, pictures, audios, videos, etc. align the contents such that it fulfills the course objective. It helps to access the content through the internet. Let me talk to you about an LMS platform called as Moodle. Moodle is an internet-based learning platform. It provides a robust as well as a secure system with an option to integrate and create personalized and customized learning environment depending on the need of the course. Today, it has over 230 million users. both across academic as well as enterprise some of the prominent users of moodle are london school of economics state university of new york microsoft shell etc at christ jayanti college due to the present pandemic situation flip classroom methodology has been adopted the course teachers would carry out content delivery using the zoom platform The students learning is facilitated and supported with the help of an LMS. Course contents and resources which are needed by the students would be provided to them through the LMS. LMS has also been customized to carry out assessments periodically to ensure that the students are having a healthy learning. Some technical facts about Christo Jayanti's in-house LMS platform it is based on Moodle version 3.8 and it has been implemented using the cloud platform this ensures round the clock availability for students it has been configured using the basic theme such that it consumes bare minimum bandwidth whether you have connected from inter, uh, laptop or mobile phone As of now it supports 9000 active users with an ability to handle 2000 concurrent users at a time. It also has an option to install custom plugins. Christo Jayanti's LMS is a browser-based application. 
which means you could access it anytime using your mobile phone or laptop. There are two ways by which you could access the LMS. One is through the college website. Just in case if you're accessing the LMS through Christu Jayanti's college website, you have to get on to christujayanti.edu.in. Once you have reached the home page, you will have to scroll down to Jayantin Special and look out for the option for KJC LMS. Else, what you could do is, in the browser, type in the URL for the Christu Jayanti LMS, which is christujayantilms.com and the login page would load for you. In order to log into the LMS, you would need a username and a password. The username is in the format of your course followed by your roll number. For example, my username is BBA18MG1A1985. Here, BBA is my course and 18MG is my roll number. You would have to type in the latest password which has been set by you. Just in case if you're having trouble logging in or you do not remember your password, you could contact your department LMS administrator. Once you have logged in into the LMS, you would be reaching a landing page. On the landing page, all the courses that have been enrolled for you for this semester would be available to you. So for example, as a part of your course, if you are required to study 7 subjects, all the 7 subjects would be listed on the landing page. Just in case if you notice any of the courses missing, request you to contact your department LMS manager again. For you to get access to the contents within a course, you would have to open up the course by clicking on it. Once you click on it, the contents or the resources which are made available to you by your respective course teacher would be listed to you. The resources within the LMS has been structured session-wise. So depending on the number of sessions planned out by your concerned subject teacher, the contents would be made available to you. One of the most important contents that would be available to you within the LMS is what is called as the lesson activity. You could identify the lesson activity using this particular symbol that you see that is highlighted on the screen. Let me give you a demonstration as to how you could access the contents which have been designed by the teacher. All that you have to do is click on the lesson activity and the contents designed by the teacher would be available to you. Just in case, if the content is quite large in size, your course teacher would have broken it down to smaller parts. After breaking it down into smaller parts, the course teacher would have added various toggle buttons for you to access the respective subtopics. All that you have to do is just click on the corresponding icon and then you would get access to the topic contents. Your course teacher would also have made the toggle buttons within the lesson activity available to you so that you could navigate between the contents with ease. At the end of each content, your course teacher would have designed a quiz to evaluate your understanding of accessing and reading through the resources. It is mandatory for you to re uh, answer the questions such that you could progress within the course. Apart from the lesson activity, your course teacher would have made a number of other resources made available to you. You could access these and it will help you to understand the concepts better. So for example, here there is a PDF which has been uploaded by the name Reference Material. And you could access that to understand the concept better. So likewise, a number of resources such as audio, video, ebooks, etc. would be uploaded by the teacher for you to understand the topics better. I hope you have found this video useful. Wishing you all the best for a wonderful season of learning. Thank you.